My name is Ricky and I believe in education. And the education I'm gonna share with you right now changed my life. I have had my ups and downs in my vitality journey, ups and downs in my health journey, and there's been many times that I've had way too much acid buildup in my body and in my cells. This is case in point number one. So this was me not too long ago. And then I decided to invest in myself, my mind, and my body. And it's amazing some of the transformations that can happen when you make small, small changes. Now you're gonna wanna stick with us because if it changed my life, it can change yours as well. And I have never felt more empowered, healthy, or confident than I do right now. Another reason why you're gonna wanna stick with us is because we're actually gonna share with you on ways that you can help the planet, the environment, and live in a more sustainable world. And the reason why is because what is happening with plastic bottles in our ocean is unfathomable. This is something that's going on. We have literally islands of plastic in our oceans. This is what's happening on our shores, in our beaches. And I've even seen, the, done some research, and whales can't even consume food in the ocean because their bellies are so full of plastic. And you, you never know what's gonna happen to the marine life when you start drinking plastic and, and things like that. Now this is from the Environmental Justice Foundation. And they say a million plastic bottles are bought every minute. Less than half of all plastic bottles end up getting recycled and plastic water bottles uh, re release toxic chemicals when they decompose. Again, the reason why you're gonna wanna inform yourself with this education is because you're gonna feel empowered not only for you, but for the world that we live in. And that is something that is insanely important to me. Now that million bottles a minute, we're gonna start a stopwatch and we're gonna start it right now. So if it's a million bottles purchased a minute, we're gonna see how many bottles, plastic bottles are purchased within this presentation. Now, one thing I wanna share with you before we get going is an FDA disclaimer. These statements and products have not been evaluated by the FDA. Please note that this presentation is not intended to treat or cure any disease, nor should any of the subject matter be taken as medical advice. Now, the water that we're gonna to talk to you about today is medical grade. This is a certificate that you can actually take the water through TSA at the airport because it's medical grade, the only water on the planet that you can take through the airport. So look, we're gonna, we're gonna shoot this in one cut, okay? All the bottles are unopened. We're gonna shoot this in one cut. It's gonna be super raw, so bear with me. I may make some mistakes. You're in my, my house. This is my living room. Yes, I have a bar in my living room. Uh, judge me when you're perfect. We have Classe Azul. I love Classe Azul, so stick with us. I'm gonna share with you the most therapeutic thing that you can put in your brain, your body, and your gut. And our goal is to empower you with this information as we have been empowered. And when I think about empowerment, I think about mentorship. And one of my vitality mentors, thank you, Carlos, the mad scientist, for turning me on to this, but Hippocrates. Hippocrates, yeah. they called him the father of modern medicine. And he said, all disease begins in the gut. He also said a quote that people say a lot, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. And the reason why is because when we look at the, uh, the SAD, the Standard American Diet, SAD, has become an absolute fertilizer for cancer, okay? The Standard American Diet has become a fertilizer for cancer. Our intention, again, is to empower you with inf this information as we have been empowered, as we have shared it, and you can make small changes, small changes, and this is one of those changes to make a, a healthier life. Now, when we look at acidity, it is the root cause of almost all health concerns. This is where it all starts is with acidity. And acidity means we're having oxidative stress. stress oxidative stress is gonna hurt us and what it's associated with is these types of ailments. Aging, heart disease, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, um, degenerative eye disease, cancer, stroke, emphysema, Diabetes, it's even said and predicted by 2050 in one in three American adults will have diabetes, osteoporosis, um, cataracts, uh, Crohn's disease. And that is becoming super alarming because look, the people that we love, the people that we care about, we know people that are suffering, if not a lot of people that are suffering from these types of things. Look, I believe we don't catch colds, we don't catch disease. We think disease, the negativity, we eat disease, what we're consuming, and most of all, we drink disease. We are electrical beings living in an electrical universe. Um, the water, we're 70% water, our brains are 80% water, and the water is a conduit to everything talking and communicating with each other in an effective manner. 
okay? This is another uh, big vitality mentor of mine. Get off your ass, I'm Dr. Daryl. Thank you so much for changing the trajectory of my life and giving me an education. Um, I'm just gonna read some of this, okay? Now fathom this, in 2017, there was a cancer diagnosis once every three minutes. Think of what you can do in three minutes. Also ask yourself, did that get better or worse in the last three years? My guess is it got a lot worse. So where is that trajectory heading? Also, every 90 seconds, someone suffers from a heart attack. In that same time, two people will have strokes and one will die of cardiovascular disease. Heart disease is the leading cause of death in the United States and growing numbers of us have become ticking time bombs. Also think about this. We have never been sicker as a country. We've never taken more pills and we've never been sicker in a country as we are right now. And for the first time in history, the lifespan and longevity of our children is actually lower than that of their parents. Like, let that come home. I'm going to read that again. For the first time in history, the lifespan and longevity of our children are actually lower than that of their parents. Chronic degenerative disease is a skyrocketing, is skyrocketing and becoming a way of life. A November 4th, 2015 article in the San Francisco Chronicle stated that half the people who reach the age of 85 will, over the next decade, will develop Alzheimer's, the most common form of dementia. And meanwhile, so many people are dying of cancer and heart disease that they're not even going to make it to 85. What is the common denominator between all of these degenerative diseases? Too much acid in the body. Just let that come home for a second. And the reason is we live in toxic environments. We got environmental toxins, we got thought toxins, the negativity, we eat toxins, we drink toxins. And think about this, like, are you a mother? Are you a father? Are you a brother, a sister, a cousin? Who are the people that you love that we, in no way, in every way, shape, or form, we're all suffering from this? Another uh, mentor of mine uh, is Dr. Otto Carlson, mad scientist. Thank you for turning me on this guy. I've been doing a lot of research with him. Dr. Otto Warburg in 1931 won the Nobel Peace Prize for cancer discovery. He said, no disease, including cancer, can exist in an alkaline environment. I'll say it again. And no, dis no disease, including cancer, can exist in an alkaline environment. Now, here's the good news about that, okay? The good news is that that stems from a lack of education and also bad lifestyle choices. But we need to have the education before we can make better choices. So to me, that empowers me because now I can do my part in minimizing these afflictions. And that's really what this is about, is to empower people as we have been empowered and as how we have shared this with the ones that we love and empower them to live a healthier lifestyle. Now, we're going to talk a lot about oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is really simple. You know when you take a, an apple and you cut it down the middle and you leave it on the counter and it turns brown? That's oxidative stress. Essentially, it's like rusting, only now that's going on in our body and in our cells. Think about that rusting going on in our cells through oxidative stress. That's why our bodies need and crave antioxidants. It's a term that people throw around a lot, but I'm not sure exactly if they know that they're antioxidants and selective antioxidants. I believe the greatest antioxidant on the planet is gratitude. This is my gratitude poem. I read it literally every morning. I use it to convert energy. I believe gratitude to be in limitless supply. It's free, you don't have to pay for it, and it absolutely makes a huge difference in your life, and it's available to everybody. So mine is, my first one, I have a challenge side and an easy side, things that people usually bitch about, things that are easy to be grateful for. First one is I am grateful for the screaming baby on the plane, because it means that I can hear, I have the sense of hearing. On the easy side, I am grateful for my mom, my dad, and Sessy, that's my sister, because they teach me a great way to live and to love. Mom, dad, Sess, love you. I also know of another incredible antioxidant, which is called molecular hydrogen, which you can find in electrolyzed, reduced water. And that's what we're gonna to talk to you about today, okay? So welcome to my home. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour some different pHs into this, these cups, and I'm gonna put some organic, organic, strawberries okay so the organic strawberries are going to go in here and also in here and what i'm going to pour on the right side is what we call in my opinion liquid gold also known as kangen water okay so put these over here and this is kangen water now this is an 11.5 ph so if let's go over to the ph scale and basically here's the ph scale 
14 is pure alkalinity, zero is pure acid, burn a hole in steel. Our blood will regulate at 7.36 or 7.4. We can't change that. You know, if we change it, we die. A lot of people think it's about changing the blood. It's not. It's about giving our buffering system a lot to buffer out the acid. So basically, purple good, orange, yellow, bad. Okay. This is an 11 point pH, and this is meant to um, detach dirt and oil from its surface. So I'm gonna pour the Kangen liquid gold into here on the right, and I'm gonna, what we, everybody washes their produce with on the left, tap water. So as I go into the tap, solid pour right here. Now we're just gonna let these sit. I'm gonna put these over here for a little bit. You're not gonna believe what this freaking water does to these strawberries. Okay, now, so I'll leave this up here so you can see this, this scale. And okay, so as we go into this, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pour some liquids here and bring this over here so you guys can remember that. All right, we're gonna pour this in and then I'm gonna have a tester. pH is a really hot thing now. So this is the thing, this is a little uh, tablet that you can drop in here. It tells you the, the pH of the liquid. This is Sprite, unopened, unopened, don't, no, son of a, all right. I hate when soda spills all because it's sticky. Now I'm gonna have sticky hands. Okay, but we all know who, how bad soda is, right? So I'm gonna pour that in there, no big deal. I drank these for a long time because it says on this, uh, antioxidants, zero sugar, sparkling ices. I thought they were good, I drank them for a long time. Let's pour that in there. I got fooled for, for quite a bit of time. Propel, a soft drink, right? We give these to our kids, they're super healthy. Let's put this in here. And then Gatorade, think about this. We give Gatorade to our kids all the time. Look at this marketing, zero, zero, zero carbs, zero, zero sugar, zero sugar, that's what it is, okay. So I'm gonna open this up, I'm gonna pour this in. Now, we give this to our kids when they're exercising, when they're exercising and they're running and they're lifting, they're building up lactic acid and we're feeding that with this. I'm gonna prove that in a second. So we got uh, tap water, I'm gonna put tap water in and then I'm gonna put purified water, okay? Purified water in here. Purified water is what's called dead water, much like reverse osmosis water, okay? We'll get to that in a little bit. And then we're gonna put some uh, essential water, 9.5 pH essential water. I'm gonna put that in there. And then I drank this a lot for years, P perfect hydration water, because I get I go to shop at Costco a lot. I love Costco pizza, and I'm gonna eat Costco pizza quite a bit on my cheat days. I usually get pepperoni. If I'm ordering, I get pepperoni and sausage. I love Costco pizza. I will not be investing in the water at Costco anymore. Then we got liquid gold, baby. Isn't she pretty? Pretty gorgeous. Okay, so we got liquid gold. And I'll put that in here. All right. Now, thank you for your patience. That's a lot of pouring of clear liquids. Like, Ricky, what the hell's going on? Okay, now I'm gonna test these. I'm gonna pour this in here, okay? If this comes out on this scale, it's bad. If it comes out on this scale, it's good. Okay, so soda. We all know where that's gonna end up. Acidic. I'm gonna switch these because I'm writing and I feel kind of weird when I start with my left hand. Okay, now this what I drank all the time. If you look in this, it doesn't have sugar. It doesn't, it has sucralose. Look up aspartame, look up sucralose. See what those do. They're not sugar, they're artificial sweeteners, which are worse than sugar. If anybody has any questions on that, feel free to contact us. I'm happy to share articles. Propel, something that we give to our kids all the time, okay? Acidic, acidic, acidic. Gatorade. We're giving it to our kids when they go play and building up lactic acid. Well, guess what? We're feeding that lactic acid, okay? Now, tap water. Tap water is gonna be green. Now, it's funny because now tap water is green because they chemically raise the pH by putting lye in it, L-Y-E, so the, the pipes don't burst, but we don't wanna be consuming any of that stuff, but that is why this comes out kind of greenish. Now we have purified water. This is just like distilled water. This is just like um, reverse osmosis water and people spend lots of money on reverse osmosis machines. Purified, distilled, reverse osmosis, reverse osmosis water was not intended for human consumption. It was for industrial machines, not human consumption, okay? So when we test this and it comes in, now the thing about 
it comes out super acidic. Here's the thing about dead water. Reverse osmosis, purified water, they strip all the bad stuff. They strip it out, but they also strip all the good stuff. So we're drinking dead water. Water is a living organism. It needs potassium, calcium, magnesium to survive. So we drink dead water, our body consumes it. Now it's gonna steal magnesium from our muscles, calcium from our bones, and potassium from our body. And as we pee and uh, sweat, we lose and lose those nutrients. So we drink dead water, it leaches it from us, and then it steals it from us as it exits our body. Then people pay thousands of dollars for these machines. Um, okay, now we go to the uh, essential water. And we go to the perfect hydration water. Now let's take a look at these, okay? The first, the first ingredient on the Essentia, purified water by reverse osmosis, okay? What they do in these is they add sodium bicarbonate, basically baking soda, because these are such a hot new test now and they wanna be able to trick the test. In this is what they put, let's see, um, purified water, number one ingredient. Uh, potassium car carbonate, potassium in uh, bicarbonate, magnesium sulfate. These are inorganic and fake crap minerals, okay? When our bodies consume them, they know they're fake and inorganic. So now we take my liquid gold and we take what I miss you when I travel so. So these are all purple. Now remember the scale. Purple good and orange bad, okay? So we're just gonna set these up like a little triangle. And we're also gonna show you how bad this part of the system is, okay? So I'm gonna fill up some more of my liquid gold and we're gonna fill it up in here. And I'm gonna test just this, this cup right here. And we're gonna take this, okay? So acidity, and we're gonna have just a tap. And before I do that, I'm gonna make the liquid gold the nice cute purple color and stir that right there, bad boy. So now we have liquid gold, and we're gonna take one cap of soda, just one cap, okay? And we're gonna pour that in there, and we're gonna stir it up and see what happens to that liquid gold. It just destroyed it in two seconds. This is how bad these things and these colors are for our body. They are killing us from a biochemical standpoint, from the cell standpoint, from a cellular standpoint, from the inside out, okay? now. Let's take these. So yeah, we pay a lot of money for this stuff, right? This is healthy, right? Awesome, okay. When you breathe, you have carbon dioxide. When you, when you expose your carbon dioxide, it's actually a way to detoxify by breathing. That's why when people tell you when you're um, really stressed and nervous, take a deep breath, okay? And then we release the carbon dioxide. Now, when I breathe, the carbon dioxide is gonna be able to tell what's fake and what's real. So now I can't tell this uh, outside. I can, my body will tell it when it's inside, but if I'm drinking it, it's too late. So as I breathe into these three straws, we're going to breathe on carbon dioxide and see what's real and what's fake and inorganic minerals. So bear with me. I'm not the greatest at this, but I'm going to try right now. Okay. I could probably go for another hour, but this is what you are drinking. You just can't see it because your body is doing the detoxification. Our bodies treat these as toxins. My liver has to work harder. It's leaching minerals like all these things. Now when I sweat and I pee, it's stealing minerals because it's still a living organism. It's still gonna have to take the magnesium, the calcium, and the, um, the magnesium, calcium, potassium, and it's gonna leach it and steal it. Oh, by the way, we pay a buttload for these, for these things, okay? It's, it's a lot of money, and they're, they're, they're drinking us, and it drives me nuts, because I paid for this shit for two years, and I had my family drink it, I had my friends drink it, and it makes me upset, quite frankly. Oh, by the way, this will never decompose, so. Okay, now we have, um, Gonna put all this over here. I'm gonna move this back over here. Okay. Now, when, so I was pissed. <laughs> I was freaking pissed, cause I'm like, that sucks. I've been drinking all this inorganic and, and fake crap. So for me personally, 
when I have something that challenges me or it's a frustration, I look to my mentors, okay? And I look at mentors as older, younger, you might meet them, you're not meeting them, they might be alive, they might be dead. One of my biggest mentors is Big Al, I call him Big Al, Albert Einstein. And he said, the most important decision we make is whether we believe we, do, we live in a friendly or a hostile universe, okay? And then Mr. Viktor Frankl. Viktor Frankl said, everything can be taken from a man but one thing, the last of the human freedom, to choose one's own attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's own way, okay? So I use those all the time. Viktor Frankl, quick, quick, quick story. He was in Auschwitz. I believe it was his mother, his father, his wife were burned alive. He wrote a book called Man's Search for Meaning. And he credited that book of him getting out of Auschwitz. So in my opinion, he took one of the most unfathomable things ever and turned it into service and purpose for his life. So when I get frustrated, the number one thing I do is, is this a Viktor Frankl problem? Uh, no, and it stops my complaining in its tracks. Same thing here. I was pissed. So I said, okay, how can I convert this? And I would rather have education or, or ignorance. So I'm happy that I, I learned this and I'm gonna do something about it. You can make damn sure about that. Okay, so now we have, I'm gonna show this little demo right here and we're gonna put more of the, uh, let's use the essential water right here. And then we're gonna use a little bit of purified water, reverse osmosis water. Remember, it was for industrial machines, not intended for human consumption. I'm gonna put some of that in there, slow pour. Come on, buddy, okay, whoa. Oh God, okay, got a lot of that. And then we're gonna go in some more liquid gold. Okay, so we're gonna pour some liquid gold in here. Okay, we are dynamic energy systems living in dynamic energy systems. And this isn't woo woo, this is factual. Our brains are uh, have billions of neurons that talk to each other. There's chemical and electrical actions that happen in our brain, in our gut, they're calling our gut our second brain. So we want to be negatively charged with electrons or antioxidants. The second we get positively charged, a proton, not good. That's the start of acidosis. So we want to be negatively charged. These machines have water and they get ionized when they pass over an electrical plate. That plate produces the electrons and that electrons make sure that we are negatively charged. That is a good thing. Negatively charged, good. Positively charged, bad, okay? So, the way I like to prove this, get over here, buddy. Uh, P, uh, essential water. So obviously no electrical charge there, okay? I go into purified or reverse osmosis water, no electrical charge there. Liquid gold, electrical charge? Absolutely. It's like a light show. I feel like I'm at a concert. Check it out. So that means that there are electrons and an actual electrical charge, which means there's an abundance of antioxidants because they're a negative charge, free electrons, antioxidants are synonymous. And I think that is incredible. And I love proving this stuff to me. My vitality journey has been about a year and a half, two years now. And this is, my mom has a PhD in biology. I had her watch 30 hours of water webinars. I hired a vitality mentor, Carlos, a mad scientist. Um, and my dad is, has, is an engineer. So I was researching different power sources from different water machines, and I had him watch 30 hours of water webinars. So this is something that I'm obviously extremely passionate about. Okay, so another thing is, two cups. We got tea, tea bags. Uh, I don't know if it's green tea. Is this green tea? Green tea, doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm gonna take a green tea here, and I'm put, um, I'm gonna put liquid gold in this one. Liquid gold. <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm gonna pour this in with liquid gold. And now I am going to put tap water in this one. Now we all know that you can't make tea with, uh, with cold water, right? You need to boil the water so the water can get the tea actually out. Okay, so liquid trash, liquid gold. So when I stir this, can't get the tea out. Now when I stir it with liquid gold, the tea starts to come out, and this is the reason why, okay? So it started to take the tea out of that, and I could do it for longer and longer where all the tea comes out, but my point in this is molecular hydrogen. When you look at molecular hydrogen and why this is able to happen, uh, let's see here, 
This is how small the little guy is, okay? Molecular hydrogen. It's able to get into the tea bag. So this is how small this little guy is. And you got CoQ10, vitamin E, vitamin C, okay? So it's able to get into the tea bag to take out the tea, okay? Now think of this as our cells. Our cells are, have all these toxins, environmental toxins, thought toxins, food toxins in the mitochondria of the cell. And now this water is able to get into the cell to actually detoxify, okay? Actually detoxify, that's why it's getting into the tea bag. This water is so, the clusters are so small, it can actually permeate plastic. So think of the cell, it's able to get into the cell and do its job, okay? Liquid trash does nothing, liquid gold, baby. Tore these out. Okay, now, an important thing here is that this is not alkaline water, okay? This is electrolyzed reduced water. And what I'm gonna do before I get into this, I'm gonna make a little, um, a little change. I'm gonna put on a little something, okay? So just bear with me. Mom and dad, you'll be proud. And call us a mad scientist. I'm not a mad scientist yet, but I believe I might be a chemist. So <laughs> judge me when you're perfect because my friends call me the chemist now because, and they actually got this for me. I didn't actually buy this, they bought it for me. And uh, cause I can explain some of this on an elementary level. So this is not alkaline water. This is electrolyzed reduced water, which creates a reduced surface tension, okay? That reduced surface tension is basically the disassociation of water. Fancy phrases, all that means is it takes the water molecules from very, very big to very, very small. For example, imagine a chain link fence, okay? Chain link fence. I got baseballs and golf balls and I throw them at that chain link fence. Maybe some of the golf balls get through, maybe. No baseballs, maybe some golf balls. Same chain link fence, I have a handful of tiny marbles that I have hundreds and hundreds in my, in my hand and I throw them at that same chain link fence a lot of those marbles are gonna get through. That is how small the molecular hydrogen is because of the disassociation of water and the reduced surface tension. So we can get into the cell, it can actually do its job. Now we also have, imagine this is my cell, okay? We use this term a lot, antioxidants, but do we know what they're doing and what they're protecting the cell from? A lot of people don't, really easy, free electrons. So protons and free electrons are synonymous, same thing, they're bad. They make us positively charged. So I have a free electron. Free electrons attack cells. They, they poke at cells. They're the big bully. They attack, destroy, and kill cells, okay? Now, when we talk about the pH of our buffering system in our blood, stay with me here. So just stay with me for about 90 seconds. Our blood carries the nutrients and the oxygen, okay? And they, we want our red blood cells to be negatively charged. As we become acidic, it strips that negative charge. They stick together. Now they morph creates yeast and candida in their blood. Now they start eating up all, all the glucose, makes us tired. Um, they're living organisms, they consume things and they waste. Now they waste, that's pure acid and more acid and more acid. So we wanna stay away from being acidic. So when this free electron comes, I mean this um, free, free radical comes, we have antioxidants that say, hey, get away from my cell, and they cancel out the free radical. Free electrons come and come and come, antioxidant, boom, get the hell out of my cell. Problem is, we have way more free radicals than we do antioxidants because we live in the toxic environment. I'm not just talking about water, I'm talking about what we eat, what we think, all these things, okay? So that is free radicals and antioxidants. Now in the body, mom and dad, you're gonna like this? Love you guys. We have chemical reactions that happen when you drink this water, okay? Number one, there is a hydrogen ion. Oh yeah, let me, let me do this. I love this quote. Life is a struggle not against sin, not against the money power, not against malicious, malicious animal magnetism, but against hydrogen ions. That is from M.L. Mekin. Again, thank you, mad scientist, for bringing me on to him. But a hydrogen ion is H+, plus, very simply put. H+, plus. that's a hydrogen ion, that's bad, okay? That's why he says life is a struggle against a hydrogen ion, I love that. What our water produces through electrolysis, through the electricity of the machine, unlike any other ionizer on the planet because of the electrical source, which is the reason why it's the only water you can take through TSA, because it's medical grade. It, it produces hydroxide, OH minus. Okay, you with me so far? It took me like eight months to learn. Pretty simple, not for me. Okay, so you have a proton, you have the hydroxide, H plus, OH minus. This is what happens is, is basically, I don't know if this is algebra, I think it is, I don't know. But this is what happens. The plus and the minus, 
they cancel out. Now look what I got. I got one, two, I got two H's, two H's and an O. It creates water. Now water's harmless. Now when I sweat, I pee, I take this, it's a chemical reaction, I can get it out of my body. It goes away, it's harmless. The chemical reaction serves me because it turns it into water where now I can get it out of my body harmlessly. Okay, second chemical reaction. I want to introduce you to a guy called hydroxyl. Hydroxyl is brutal. If this guy is bad, think of hydroxyl as like Texas times five and then multiply that times five. That's how bad the hydroxyl radical is. And that is OH, okay? So I got OH and OH, okay? Now remember, this guy, he wreaks havoc. He, this, guy, this guy is like, oh, I'm gonna do some damage. Damn sure. This guy's like, I am going to ravage cells. Now remember this little guy, okay? Molecular hydrogen. Remember how small he is? Also, with molecular hydrogen, the biological effects of hydrogen gas have been have now been confirmed in over 400 studies and over on over 138 different human diseases and disease models. H2 has been shown to be therapeutic virtually in every organ of the human body. In every organ of the human body, H2, molecular hydrogen, hydrogen gas is beneficial. It's also the smallest molecule known is easily permeates our cell walls and even can penetrate plastic. Okay, the reason why that's so important is because this machine produces an abundance of antioxidants, about five to 10 times more than green tea. So when we look at this, this is chemical reaction number one, this is chemical reaction number two. He's Pac-Man, baby. He is Pac-Man and he is eating up that bad boy. Not only that, molecular hydrogen is so badass, it doesn't go after the little guys. He doesn't even go after the hydrogen ions, the H pluses. He does, he's like, I don't, look, I'm not gonna waste my time with that, okay? That's like LeBron playing against uh, high school players, okay? Now, so hydrogen is a selective, selective antioxidant. It saves up all its energy, all its energy, for these free radicals. That's like LeBron going to play, only saving up all his energy for game seven of the finals in Los Angeles. How about that, okay? So molecular hydrogen just is a selective antioxidant and only targets the big guy. So when you have this chemical reaction, you have two H2O molecules. Again, it creates water. It creates water, which is harmless. So you got the hydroxide is tackling the little guys. These, trust me, these guys can still do harm. But then you got the big dog eating up all the hydroxyl radicals, which creates water. Now we can get it out of our body. Okay, let's go into my kitchen. I'm gonna show you about that molecular hydrogen, um, how it is in our cells. Check out the machine. She's super pretty. Powering on. She's powering on. Coffee water, 9.5. And I'm just gonna go over here. And we're gonna, this should crackle. This is gonna crack a little bit. So when I take a flame, I take a flame and I put it into the water. So that crackle and that flame is a spark where you know that molecular hydrogen is there. Now, when you chug this right at the tap, you have this molecular hydrogen that's in absolute abundance. So the first thing I do every morning is I come here and I chug a glass of water. I get all that molecular hydrogen. Now, when I look at the liquid trash and I put the liquid trash on, it doesn't do a whole lot, nothing, zero. You wanna hear the liquid gold again? liquid gold. I want to share one quick thing with uh, that I think is also a great antioxidant is the quokka. So that's a quokka, happiest animal on the planet. Uh, I use it to convert energy. I think it's a great antioxidant. You can Google quokka selfie, but you can also um, look at Instagram. Uh, Cruzy Susie is one of my favorite quokka pages. So, oh, also, okay. 
2.5 acidic water. What I'm going to share with you now is probably the best hand sanitizer that's non-chemical, antifungal, um, antibacterial on the planet. So hand sanitizer, if you go to the machine, I'm going to hit strong acidic water. Okay. Now, strong acidic water. So when we look at the scale of 14.0, we got 11.5 coming out of here. This is what I use for the strawberries. And then we got 2.5 hypochloric acid here. So as I fill up, this is my hand sanitizer. When it's non-chemical and it's probably the most, in my opinion, the best hand sanitizer on the planet. Put a little spray thing. Okay, let's go back. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my uh my, oh, by the way, we've been shooting out for 33 minutes. That is 33 million plastic bottles now that have been purchased just while we've been talking. I'm going to take my coat off. Um, it makes me sad to do that, but I'm just going to put this over here. Okay. And what we're going to do is the hypochloric acid. Okay. This is um, antifungal, antibacterial, antiviral and it is the hand sanitizers that I use. I saw a hilarious meme today about a guy dressed up in a Purell and how he's being abused. I don't use any of that. I just use my 2.5 hypochloric acid. And this is, I just, this is my hand sanitizer. Anti-chemical, anti-fungal, anti-viral. Um, and it has actually met the FDA standard in 2009 for sterilization. The FDA standard for sterilization. When people have styes, they actually can put this in because it's non-chemical. It's just restructured water. So I can spray this Oops. in my eye. I, I use it for uh, Listerine. I can gargle it. If I have a sore throat, uh -oh. <laughs> I forgot. Don't, uh, don't drink it. Um, let me make a really strong statement right here. Do not drink the 11.5 or the 2.5, okay? And also, with the 9.5, if this were real, you would detoxify so fast that it would be off the shelves in two seconds because people would be have headaches, healing crisis, they'd be puking, they'd be going to the bathroom, they'd be on the toilet. In this machine, there's 8.5 drinking, 9.0, and the 9.5, and you gotta scale up. You have to start at 8.5 for a week and then go to nine and then go to 9.5. That's how we know. I've had people drink the machine, not change it. They're just starting on their water journey and they drink 9.5. They're on the toilet within hours because it's so detoxifying because that molecular hydrogen get in the cell and do its job. So if this were real or if this were real, they would be off the shelves in literally a day because people would be having healing crisis all over the place. Um, okay, so strong acidic water. Again, this is non-chemical, antifungal, antibacterial, antiviral, and it is the best hand sanitizer on the planet. It kills bacteria and germs. You can use it as mouthwash, um, athlete's foot, strep throat, skin issues, acne issues, um, pink eye, food poisoning from salmonella, MRSA, E. coli. This is an example. Again, we're not saying we cure or treat or heal anything, but this is before and after from eczema uh, using the 2.5 hypochloric acid. Also, MRSA, before and after patients of MRSA, again, non-chemical, antifungal, antibacterial, antiviral, um, and it's, in my opinion, the best hand sanitizer on the planet. This is from STA, uh, this is from ATS Labs, and they say the 2.5 strong acidic water was tested and affected uh, for its effectiveness in killing five different types of bacteria, staph, E. coli, salmonella, MRSA, and I don't know what that is, CRKP. Um, this is another test done. I'm going to butcher this, but this was from the Kanagawa Kitsato Research Center of Environmental Science. This is in Japan. And these are the things that it, it was in contact with. Hepatitis. After 30 seconds, no living organisms. Uh, salmonella. No live organisms detected within 30 seconds. Uh, athlete's foot. Um, fungus. No living organisms within, detected within 30 seconds. E. coli. Food poisoning. No live organisms detected within 30 seconds, okay? So that is something that I am using as my hand sanitizer. I bring this everywhere, and it's, in my opinion, the best hand sanitizer on the planet. Okay, now remember our strawberries, okay? Now, I am going to take these out. I have even been accused of taking them out with different hands and, and things like that. So I'm gonna take both the strawberries out with the same hand, okay? I'm gonna take these out, and let's see 
the 11.5 removes dirt and oil from its surfaces, okay? So as we look at this, this is what's left over. Remember, this is organic produce. That is what was on the produce. Just come take a look at this right now. That is organic, okay? I'm gonna go in with, also with the same hand and I'm gonna take out the strawberries and the tap water, which is where we wash all our produce and vegetables and things like that. Um, we're just gonna dump that over there. I didn't plant one too well. You'll notice some discoloration just because of the, um, the green leaves. But when you wash the, the produce and the fruit and the vegetables and the tap water, it doesn't do anything, nothing at all. So you have something that's taking out all the pesticides and the herbicides and the crap that we consume and use tap water that's not doing a damn thing. Okay, now, this is from the EPA. EPA now allows you to consume up to 30 times more pesticides and herbicides, okay? And organic produce is sprayed with chemicals and non-organic non -organic, uh, vegetables are sprayed also with Roundup by Monsanto. And I have done tons of research on this, but I have found that glyphosate is in Roundup, but now I've also seen glyphosate is linked to cancer. I've also read things from the EPA saying glyphosate is okay. And then I read something else that said, well, no wonder with the current administration in office, of course the EPA is gonna say that. This is not a political statement. All I'm saying, I, the, what I'm saying is that there's so much misinformation out there, right? Who to believe, uh, this is not a political statement. Quite frankly, it doesn't matter to me. However, what I am saying is that our produce and vegetables are sprayed with stuff that we don't want to consume. The 11.5 can, can strip it from its surface, just like you can use it for cleaning for your carpets, removes dirt and oil from its surface. It's also why we can use it for um, uh, remove as laundry detergent, because uh, the tide and all those things have chemicals in it to raise the pH, to remove dirt and oil from the surface. This is something that can do so much well for us when we do it on our, our vegetables. Okay. All right, so I believe in brutal honesty. Now, do I think that you should invest in one of these machines? 1000% yes. And the reason why is because it's one of the most healthy things you can do for you, your family, your health, and the environment. I also think we should share it with the people that you love, the people that you care. My first call with the, to the people that I love, hands down. In my opinion, this is about raising awareness about what we're consuming, our health, and our environment. Now, also full disclosure. So the company that makes this is a Nagic and the, the water is a Kangen water machine. Now they are a direct sales company, okay? Now they have some patent on their, on their thing, on their compensation plan that says they're technically not a network marketing company or an MLM. Quite frankly, it doesn't matter to me. They're all MLMs to me. Now I happen to love MLMs and I think they get such a bad rap because people have negative minds and a lack of education on how they actually operate. When people are educated, much like people are educated about what we're consuming, when they're educated on the most powerful business model on the planet because anybody can win, it unlocks a lot of freedom in your life and it has for me. But again, this ultimately, what we did here today is about our health, what we're consuming, raising awareness about that, the ones that we love, what we're consuming, and basically doing something on our part to live on a more sustainable planet. Now, if people wanna make money with that, awesome, great. I personally see that as an added bonus, and I wanna make as much money as I can because it gives us flexibility and it allows us to help people, but I truly believe there should be one of these machines in every single house in the world, okay? Now, one of the biggest limiting beliefs for me that I used to subscribe to and that I learned, thank you to my mentors who helped me re-engineer it. And I know this through my coaching, my speaking, my consulting. One of the biggest limiting beliefs is I can't afford it. People look in one place, one resource, their bank account, and they say, I can't afford it, okay? For me personally, when I think of that, when I, my brain says I can't afford it, I immediately switch it and I say, how can I afford it? That is something that has served me so much. And I'm not just saying this, I have practiced this. And how have I practiced on a massive, massive scale with my house. When I bought my house, my condo in Marina del Rey, love California, when I bought my house, everybody told me I was crazy, I shouldn't do it, I can't afford it, it's too expensive, don't do it. And I said, I want to invest in myself and my greater later. I can make things happen if I look at my resourcefulness, not my resources. So I always encourage people to look at your resourcefulness. It's not just about one resource. We're programmed to say, look at one resource or bank account, bank account and say, we can't afford it. It's almost like our brain automatically goes there. I encourage people to look at your resourcefulness and to say, how can I afford it? 
That little transition has afforded me a lot of prosperity abundance in my life. So if you're ready to invest in your machine and you should want to because when you do these types of things, you're going to be empowered just from the education and you're probably healthy already. But I think a lot of those people, even if you're healthy already, you're ready to take that, that vitality step to the next level. And so people in here that are watching to this to the end that are going to feel empowered and the people that never even think about listening or investing in themselves, especially in a time where we have more time to do that. I think that's where they struggle in my brutally honest opinion. So if you feel like investing in yourself, um, you can actually get one of these machines for less than 54 cents a day um, through its lifespan. And that's about investing in yourself, your health, and your vitality. So if you have any questions on it, um, give us a call. Our team would be happy to, to share uh, or answer any questions with you. We're at 44 minutes. By the time I've been talking to you, there have been 44 million plastic bottles bought on the planet. Think about that. This is a way to invest in your health and live in a more sustainable world. Um, but remember, you want to be empowered because you'll want to invest in yourself because you feel, feel empowered. But also remember, the best antioxidant out of all of this is gratitude. Without question, it converts energy. And the reason why people want to be grateful is simply because it changes perspective for you in a way that serves you for you and the ones that you love. Thank you for coming on our vitality journey. And uh, I'm pretty proud of my chemistry class. Stay grateful and thank you again.